because they are, they are... The month of August is projected to be a busy one when it comes to politics as major political parties and individuals continue rolling out their 2021 election roadmaps. We will have our national delegates conference on the 60th of August. And that delegates conference is to do two major things. One, to finalize and acclaim the presidential candidate, and secondly, to deal with policy issues. This will be followed by candidate identification and consensus building among party aspirants for all positions before heading for party primaries. Before we do party primaries, between the 20th of July and the 21st of August, we will be conducting a series of meetings towards consensus building. Although all is set for the delegates' conference, the party awaits a green light from the independent electoral commission. Was that we are going to have our delegates' conference on the 6th of next month, uh, 6th of August 2020, and we inform them that we are expecting about 600 to 800 uh, uh, members of the party. And so the issue then was how to hold those number of people in one meeting. However, ANT still maintains that the Electoral Commission roadmap needs harmonization with different stakeholders to iron out black spots. We must hear from the Ministry of Health officials to tell us the rationale. If Chikubo can survive and there is no infection, we need to understand clearly as a political organization what is their rationale of not having elect, I mean, uh, uh, rallies elsewhere? Speaking to media at their national offices in Kampala, the party presidential hopeful, retired General Mugisha Muntu, welcomed the two other new party entrants, they being marking the Urban Council Deputy Speaker, Aisha Nabasiri, and former Minister of State for Internal Affairs, Sarah Chienji. A party that sees things the way I see things. A party that I'll call my home for the rest of my life. Although political players continue to advocate for revision of the current scientific election process, AND insists this should not culminate into election boycott. I'll tell you, we reached a point and a conclusion we are participating in the elections. After the announcement by Honorable Winnie Kiza, a former leader of opposition in parliament and now the Kasese municipality member of parliament that she's quitting active politics. This move has attracted a debate from a cross-section of political players. To General Mugisha Muntu, who once served with Honorable Winnie Kiza, this is timely and must be appreciated. Her main reason is that she made a promise. She promised quite a number of uh, leaders within Kasese, the, you know, opinion leaders, elders, and told them in 2016 that she was going to run for her last term. That she, had, she has fulfilled that promise. As the media brief was underway, aunt riot police rammed into the party offices, although no interruptions were made. Robert Unyango, UBC News.